Okay, next tutorial. This look is meant to be a sugar skull, or I guess you could say a Mexican Day of the Dead look, that kind of thing. <laughs> um, it was actually a request as well, uh, it's been requested a few times this one, but uh, the first person that I've got on record that requested it is Kimmy Loves Makeup, so I'll put their link there, so thank you so much for this request, thanks everyone for their requests. Um, but you're the first person, so, yep. <laughs> um, yeah, there's not much else to say about this look, really. It's just a fun one that you haven't really got to follow the rules on this, really. I mean, you could just, you could do any kind of intricate patterns and just have a play, really. It's a fun look, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, if you'd like to see how to recreate this look, stay tuned. So, firstly, I'm going to block out my eyebrows. So, I'll pop a link here to one of my previous tutorials. If you watch the first few minutes of it, it'll teach you how to block them out. Um, just so I can make some time up in this video. Uh, you don't have to block your eyebrows out if you don't want to because some sugar skulls have just black eyes and black covers quite a bit of eyebrows anyway. But I'm going to go for probably some more colours and some eyeshadows and I want to block, block them out as much as I really can do. So I'm going to block them out and get back to you. I'm then going to take a Snazaroo Clown White and I'm going to apply that all on its own directly to my face. Being particularly careful on the eyebrows to press them in the colour in rather than stroke it on because you don't want to lift up any of the wax edges. Um, I'm going to apply it with a foundation brush. Uh, but don't try and do, do it too neat. I mean, you can get it neat with a foundation brush if you're really careful, but my best way of, I've found of doing it is apply it directly with a, a foundation brush and then buff it in with a kabuki brush afterwards just as it's starting to set. That way it blends really nicely, gets rid of all the patchiness and there's no streak marks. It's just the best way that I've found. So I'm going to do that and we'll go from there. There we are. I'm not worried about too much about the coverage around my eyes and under my eyelids and stuff like that because I'm going to be colouring this whole area in so don't try, try and focus on that too much. So then I'm going to take some Grimace Translucent Powder, uh, which is a white powder that I'm going to use to set my entire face and press particularly hard on the eyebrows just so they stay there and are completely hidden. And it just makes it look a little bit whiter and the colour more even basically. So I'm going to press that all over my face then brush off the excess and we'll go from there. Now, this look is going to be fairly similar, I suppose. I have a similar technique to my Zombie Boy makeup tutorial. It's going to, I'm going to go the whole, the more scully route, so it's going to be more of a car, less than a cartoon skull and more, I don't want to say anatomically correct skull, if that makes sense, no. But anyway, I'm going to do the more of the shading and everything, but obviously there's going to be the spider web and everything, and there's still going to be the bright colours, and yeah. But I just want it to have that really, that big skeletal element. So the main thing I'm going to be using in this tutorial is going to be a Collection 2000 eyeliner pen just because I use it in a lot of my tutorials now don't I but it's really really fine and it's easy control and it's just really dark and I love um, it. I'm going to be using this for all of my fine de finer detail. Just the key trick is not to press hard. We don't want thick lines, we want really fine fancier lines so the overall look is going to be um, more not complicated, it's going to look more intricate I think is the word we're going for. So I'm going to start tracing on the skull shape that I want on the bottom jaw first because this half is going to be all just the big eyes and the spider web. And yeah, so I'm going to start tracing it on really lightly. Okay, so we should start having this kind of a shape. So, yeah, just following the cheekbone basically and then tapering off towards the centre of the mouth. So then I'm just going to carry on with my pen. I'm just going to colour in this area here, here and here, just the hollows of the face. There we are. Don't worry about the patchiness of the black, so I'm going to go over that again um, in a little bit with some black cream just to darken it up a bit. So then I'm going to carry on drawing with, with my pen. I'm going to do the mouth now. So I want the mouth to join on to these parts here which would be the hollows of the cheeks, and I'm just going to draw a straight line curving ever so slightly up, so it's going to dip, then go up. Not not like it's smiling, just you'll see. It's better than just having a straight line going across the face, just ever so slightly curved up. So then I can do the eyes, and now the eyes are going to be, I'm going to maybe, I don't know if I'm going to do a skull shape under here, but they need to be quite rounded towards the top, maybe ever so slightly going up higher here and lower here, but we'll see. So I'm just going to start tracing that on. Yeah, that's the shape I ended up going for. So not, I, I mean, I wanted to do something a little bit different than the usual rounded eyes that you see. So, yeah, as long as there's enough gap, but enough space between the uh, hollows and the line, it's fine. Because this is going to be the next step. Um, also, probably one of the most trickiest. 
This is going to be where I'm going to draw the loops around the eyes that most of these looks seem to have uh, the, when you colour them in afterwards. So they're going to be really, really evenly, evenly joined up, sized um, loops that have to be symmetrical as well. So good luck. <laughs> That's why I'm going to use my really fine eyeliner pen. Okay, so we're starting to look like that. Then I can draw on the classic spider web that starts, the middle point is just about there, or there maybe, and it splays outwards. So I'm going to get my Spider Man on. Try and do it in an even amount of numbers. So I know it's difficult, but try and get it to be fairly symmetrical. Otherwise, something will look not quite right about it. If there's an extra arm where there shouldn't be, and the distance between them wouldn't be right. So then I can just start looping in the webs. So don't worry about it being too particularly neat for now, because we're going to go in it with some um, black creams, as I said before and some, uh, shade it up a little bit so it's not going to be perfect at this stage and then I can do the nose let's see so I'm going to still do the two points I think I was going to do the one like an upside down um, the club I think it is but no I'm going to do two because it looks more like a nose so okay so yeah that's the nose shape I've gone for kind of looks like a little fox <laughs> sorry <laughs> um, so make sure there's a little um, peak at the bottom as well there we are and now I'm going to start colouring this in so I'm going to take a black grimace cream in 101 I'm going to go over all the colours in areas so the hollows and the nose I'm just going to go over that completely just to make it really really dark there we are and now I'm just going to draw some quick teeth lines on Okay, so now I'm going to start on the eyes. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use red, green, and black. I think is going to be my theme because I've got a black, black wig and red roses in there, and I want there to be another colour. So I thought green would be probably be the best one, just because like flowers and that. So yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to colour my eyelid black, and I'm going to fade it out to from green and then to red because I'm going to colour these little dots in red as well. So the colours I'm going to be using are Barry M Dazzle Dusts. I'm going to be using their numbers. 22, 73, and 834. So basically, red, green, and a black with a hint of green in that's sparkly, basically. I think it has to have some kind of sparkle, doesn't it? <laughs> so I'm just going to quickly smoke up my eye with some MAC black eyeshadow in carbon, so the black. And just apply, just, I won't go any further than just, just underneath my eye and my eyelid. And I want the black to flick upwards, so try and go with that kind of a shape with your eye, but you'll see what I mean. Kind of like a small cat eye, really. take some MAC black fluid line in black track and I'm just going to line the fluid line of my eye and just do an ever so, go ever so slightly underneath the lashes and I'm going to do a quick wing on top as well not going out too far just a really slight flick at the edge just to really give the shape that I want There we are, so that's one eye winged, so I'm going to do a bit more on the eyeshadow obviously, but so for now I can see that's the kind of shape that I want, just never so slight flick outwards and I've gone really lightly underneath. And I've also gone in the tear duct of the eye and joined it on top to the top lash li uh, waterline, so yeah, just gives that really nice striking look. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to do the other eye. I'm there we are, so when that's finished, uh, when I've finished applying the red and the green, I'll apply some of the black Barry M, uh, the glitter, just to set it and... Yeah, it'll just make it that bit that bit darker. So now I'm going to take the 834 Barry M Dazzle Dust, which is the really, really nice dark green that's got some glitter to it, some shine. So I'm just going to literally smoky that outwards, not to the end, not to the end, but all the way in, well, out, outwards, basically. <laughs> so here we go. There we are. And I'm just going to take the number 73, which is the red Dazzle Dust. And I'm going to smoke you that outwards again, just but this time joining on from the green to the edges. Then I can 
and take the number 22, which is, as I said, the black glitter that's got a hint of yellow to it, and I can press that over my eyes. Make sure when you're using barium dazzle dust that you press rather than stroke because it'll let you get loads of fallout and you don't want that, especially after we've applied clown white. <laughs> Start working on the shading so I'm going to take the black cream and I'm not going to use much of it at all the idea is to I'm going to go over so I'm going to start with the spider web and then do the same on here and sh like the idea is it needs to be shaded all the way to the center and these need to be shaded outwards so I'm going to apply the cream to one line then take a clean brush and just sweep the cream outwards so it starts tapering off but you'll see what I mean There we are, nice and blendy. So then I can do the same here, so darkest here and then until the, the colour just fades out completely. So with the teeth, I need to draw a tiny little line, like a little upside down arrow, like an upside down triangle at the base of every tooth. And then I just, I'll probably use the end of the brush actually, and then I just blend that outwards so it tapers off and then just gonna take a tiny tiny bit of the color the black and just pull each tooth up as high just quite high until the color tapers off okay and then i think i'm just going to draw some random patterns on now so just some random swirls and i might draw a flower on my chin maybe it's yeah there's no method to it as long as it's symmetrical yeah so as long as it's symmetrical down the centre of the face, the pattern should be okay. So just take your eye on a pen and draw whatever pattern you think, as long as it's really like fur de lis is really pretty and curly. <laughs> There we are, so I've done these little squiggles and some dots. So yeah, as long as they're symmetrical, or as symmetrical as you can get them. Um, and I've also drawn these three leaves on here that I'm going to colour in now, in the same way that I did the eyes. So I'm going to use um, the green, I think, the barium green to cover all of this, and then I'll tip the middles with the red. Yeah. I'm going to use a Grimace Cream in 501, a bright red. I'm just going to use that to quickly colour in all of these lines. going to glue this oval shaped red diamond just in the center there and I'll glue that with some spirit gum it's just a regular plastic diamond you can get it at most craft shops and stuff to be honest like beads I'm just gonna let that go tacky for a second and I can just press that right in the center where I want it I'm also going to apply some tiny diamonds one in each um, web if as it were so it's gonna be like four on each row and the ones I'm going to be using are really, really, really tiny nail art diamonds because I thought they looked really cute. So I'm going to apply those with a nail art, um, well, I guess it's called diamond tweezers, you can call them, um, just because they're really, really delicately. And I'm going to use some spirit gum. So I'm going to dip them in spirit gum and then apply them. You shouldn't see them too much. I mean, the idea is they're just going to catch the light and hopefully they'll just really shine. It'll look really pretty. There we are, so I don't know if you can see that, but it just ever so slightly catches the light. It's a lot more prominent in, in reality, but I don't know, I think it looks pretty. <laughs> so now I'm going to apply some lashes. And my only way is Essex lashes, and whoop, there we are. So like a, quite a, they're quite a thick, maybe medium thickness, I guess you could say. And I'm just going to apply those. I'm just going to apply some uh, Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Mascara just to the top and bottom lashes now. I'm just going to put some uh, uh, Barry M Black number 37 lipstick, only a tiny, tiny bit on my top and bottom lips, just a, not a, less than half the lip shape. And I'm just going to smoke it out. I was going to paint, I was just about to paint my neck as well, but then I thought, hold on, it looks, I know it looks quite cute as it is, I think, with just a mask kind of effect. Like a sugar skull, really. I don't know. It's up to you guys. I mean, if you want to extend it, I mean, I'll pop my link to my zombie boy makeup here or in the 
description bar below just in case you guys want to learn how to do a, like a skeletal neck type thing but I don't know I think I'm gonna leave it as it is so then I just applied my wig which is there's a lot to talk about with this wig um <laughs> basically I use one of my normal wigs that I just I just tonged it and I've added in extension after extension after extension to make it big big curly black hair yeah <laughs> I mean I coloured it black as well just to make it look really really big and yeah just just flamboyant I think is the word and I've got some more flowers I've put three flowers in my hair here just to the red tie the red in and I've got some more flowers here that still have the leaves on so I can tie in the green and for the costume I'm going to I'm leaving my black top on I wore it so that I'm going to use this fabric which is bright red and it's spider web netting I just thought it looked nice together but yeah so it's just you could really probably do anything couldn't you really just something as long as it's flamboyant and showy off I guess is the kind of yeah and I've got my flowers yeah, I think that works. So yeah, and I didn't put any contact lenses in. I was going to, but then I thought it kind of looks more human. I suppose that's the right word. Looks more. I don't know. It just it it seems to look better. I think with a reflection in the eyes and stuff like that. It just looks better. I think with realised and contacts. But that's up to you guys. I mean, you could use white out contact lenses. Red would probably be too much red. But yeah, so. <laughs> So yeah, I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you like it, make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. And yeah, so until next time, bye.